they've always been here. Um, it's not like they were brought here or anything like that. It's just that we are on the very edge of what they're able to to withstand and as a suitable habitat for them. It's a hard animal to get an actual number on because they're really hard to survey for. They're really hard to get an understanding on the population size, but they're doing okay. Madeline Vlashnivsky is a wildlife technician at the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. She has been researching and working with the timber rattlesnakes, trying to find out where the rattlesnakes are and how many there are. There's a lot of people that are really afraid of snakes. Um, it's kind of, it's something that's been passed down through generations is the fear of snakes. They're just a very laid back snake. They do have that venom. They can pack that punch, but typically they just want to be left alone. Ryan Donnelly is the marketing director and educator at Tanglewood Nature Center, a nonprofit organization in the Finger Lakes region that specializes in rattlesnake education. He says that warmer weather increases the chance of possibly seeing a timber rattlesnake. For the reason we might be seeing more of them this year, they do like to move around kind of in more kind of drier temperatures. They really like to spend their time out sunning themselves. So on these nice sunny days, you do have higher chances of seeing them. The biggest threat is people. Their first reaction is to want to kill them if they see them. Or they, when they're traveling over the summer, they might get hit by a car. Some people actually go out of their way to hit a rattlesnake if it's in the road. Polly Smith Blackwell, a state licensed timber rattlesnake handler and educator at Tinglewood, believes it's her mission to educate the public on the importance of rattlesnakes to our ecosystem. She says that people should be excited rather than scared if they see a rattlesnake. We fear what we don't understand. And I think if people do take the time to understand the true nature of a timber rattlesnake, they'll realize that that's not something we have to be afraid of. They're actually a really critical part of our ecosystem that I think a lot of people don't understand and don't appreciate, but they help control the mice and the chipmunk population, which are huge vectors for spreading Lyme, for carrying ticks and, and perpetuating that disease. So snakes play a critical role in helping control that part of the, the ecosystem. Donnelly suggests if you see a rattlesnake on a trail this summer to stay at least six feet of distance away and make sure you don't provoke them. The best thing about rattlesnakes is they let you know when you're too close. So always giving enough space to a snake to allow it to escape on its own is probably the best thing I would recommend for people who are a little wary of snakes. For FingerLakesOne.com, Megan Hatch.